Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf, where today we are going to be killing some orcs and some wargs before heading over to the next camp, which is over in Autumn Bell. But before we do that, we do want to find those orcs and wargs so that we can help to give a birthday present to the foster son of his sealder. Now, what can we find here? That is, that's not a warg or an orc. Though it looks pretty nasty, if you ask me. Ah! A warg! Hi! There you go. First warg of the day. So that's our first one. Now we need to find orcs. More wark, and no, that's a bird. Is that an orc up there? No, that's a rock. Or is it a rock? Ah, I finally found the areas that have orcs in them. All right, good. Let's deal with them then. Deal with orcs. And then we can return to spread the news of our little birthday present. Uh, I have a feeling, yeah. Well, you're not an orc, but you went to die, apparently. You weren't on my kill list, but no. You had to interfere. Well, let's not go after the Suluk. So we gotta be careful. He's not gonna go after us unless we do something crazy like do AOEs in this present. So, let's not bother. Let's not bother that thing. I've killed enough of those, right? Yeah. With those monsters slain, here we are at Adam Bell. So let's see what's inside here. First we need to find air turf for the missive and then find Tarendil. Well, actually, we might run to Tarendale first. I guess we'll find out which one we run into first. Yes, I am at the right camp. I guess that's good news. Oh. Tarendale I found first. I told you I wanted for nothing, friend. Or at least nothing that's in your power to give. Why should Tarendale ask for aught when the war shows no sign of stopping? Give me an end to this siege, and I'll measure it as my finest birthday since the war began. But even that will bring little comfort to my heart. These years have been hard, and one good day cannot balance out the rest. Vemichil thought that I would want these trophies that you present. They smell terribly. But, I tell you the truth, that my brother usually smells much worse. Be not offended if I cast them into a fire and rid the soldiers of their stench. It's a pity that Vimikil's odor cannot be cleansed so easily. Ooh, and I'll need to speak with Isildur. Oh. Oh, hello. Do not encourage my sons in this foolishness, or you will risk my anger. What is the meaning of this foolishness? I pray that you don't encourage them in this behavior. I have taught them the importance of an even temperament and a steady hand, for my sons are of a king's lineage, and a ruler has no time to jest. If you're a friend of them, and to me, you will remind them of this from time to time. Tarendale is mine to foster, and while he is not in the line of kings, he is still dear to me. I deal with him as I deal with my sons, and it is my hope that he will prove a good example to them, and guide them on their path, wherever that may lead. Ah, I cannot blame them for relaxing their guard. When first we pushed through the ruins of the Black Gate uh, with the vanguard, it seemed victory was near, and Sauron must surely abandon the fight. 
Yet, it was not so. He hid within the tower, sealing the doors against us, and he has not been seen again. Days turned to weeks. Weeks turned to months. And then at last, we measured the time in years. The siege seems without end. Sauron is trapped in the tower, and though his servants test us from time to time, the Dark Lord seems content to outlast us, or at least to make the attempt. I would rather they face us in battle, and put an end to this endless waiting. Is it any wonder that the idleness causes my sons to chafe, sharpening their tongues and not their weapons? It's difficult to remain alert when combat with the enemy is merely a memory, our swords untested, our shields unbattered. Perhaps Sauron makes us wait in hopes that we will grow tired and abandon this cause. If that be so, he is more a fool than he thought. We will wait as long as necessary. Well, that is a siege, I guess. Let's... Oh, that's oh, that's just accepting it. Oh, oh. Speaking of a sealer, here's the shade. Alas, I now know what I did not know then. It is with the benefit of looking back that I know now what I did not know then. Sauron did not hide from us out of fear, and he did not think to outlast us with time alone. Nay, it was with the purpose that he waited in Barador, biding his time. He knew what we did not. The Chabad Boron had won a decisive battle against the armies that had gone to face it. Even now the storm of wrath moved in the direction of Mordor, chasing the defeated Thuda and the Longbeards before it. Yes, but I don't think they were spending seven years chasing down the... chasing them down. I suspect that Sauron, well, maybe it was preparing other plans communicating with others in order to get allies to come to him. And it took him seven years to get the Storm of Wrath to get over here. Sauron needed to do nothing but wait for the Ru Rudolph Horde to arrive. Well, I think he was spending seven years of manipulating things from the tower somehow. And wait he did, secure in his tower and confident his victory would arrive with the storm. We knew not what approached, and we let the long years of the siege lull us into complacency. We would learn our mistake before long, but that is further ahead in my tale. So now we know that the dwarves and Hundred Slayer, or whatever his name was, were not quite as successful as they had hoped. Forgive the interruption. I now return to my tale. <laughs> what do you say? Isildur of the past. We need sharp blades and sturdy armor if we are to be prepared. It's been some time since Sauron sent his orcs against us, but they may return at any moment. We must be ready with sharp blades and sturdy armor prepared to turn aside their attacks. Find a crate of whetstones somewhere here in Adamdell by the campfires to the north and deliver its contents to idle soldiers throughout the encampment. Remind them of the need for weapons clean and sharp and see that they heed my warning. Do not forget to give whetstones to my sons as well. They may need the reminder most of all. False names will only protect them for so long, and in the end, they must rely upon their weapons. That is the way of war. I must now attend my brother Anarion, but I will leave you with these tasks and my thanks for their successful completion. Yeah, right? Now. I suppose we need to find the whetstones, and we also have this missive to give somebody. Ah, 
one crate of whetstones. And now that we have that, let us see if we can find a few soldiers that will benefit from using them. And maybe even... It has been some days since last my sword was sharpened. Alright. So, it could be useful. And here is Erter, the Prince of Belfalis. Alright. The missive, yes. A task for you, soldier. Your timing is impeccable, for this missive contains information concerning the plans of our gathered foes, especially those in encampments nearby. These details should enable us to launch assaults upon them before they do the same on us. You have my thanks for the timely delivery. You're welcome. And of course, he has things for us to do. We fight for a better day. It's been a long while since the enemy attacked us directly at Adabel, and the siege equipment has fallen into disrepair. If you're able to do so, inspect the siege equipment here in the encampment and see if any of it is salvageable. Alright. I suppose that's doable. Swords sharpened. Siege equipment repaired. Is that siege equipment up there? That looks like a pretty big ballista if I am seeing that properly hmm. nothing here that needs repairing apparently well then what about inside here Hello! How would you like to sharpen a sword? Okay, that's two. Oh, and maybe an occasional page. But that he guesses not. It may help us before the end. The foe fled before us, and we marched to the last great siege. A pretty long siege, based on what I've heard so far. There we go. Repaired one piece. Yes, nine more to go. But also we have several more. Oh. Let's see. Hobhook. When we wait, our guard is down. When we wait, our guard is down. Soldiers relax and forget that they are in a great war. I fear that her eyes do not watch Adabel as well as they could, or as well as they should. Oh, would you put me at ease and patrol the wall of Adabel? It should not take long, and I would feel much better. All right, patrol Adabel. All right, so you see, even the hobbits are putting me to work. Or proto-hobbits, or whatever. We wait for battle, and the wait is long. We wait for battle, and the wait is long. It seems longer still when the air is quiet and nothing moves. I must have patience, but I am not the only one who is restless. Look around, and you'll see many others grow weary of the windless wait. Let us brighten the spirits and take the stillness out of, from their minds. Uh, how do you ask? Why? Stoke the fires and share some memories. It will make the wait sh feel shorter. All right, stoke fires and memories. Ah. Somebody who could use a whetstone, it looks like. Yeah, that's half of the done. All right, stoke a fire. Do I share memories also, or... It doesn't say that in the quest log. Cinder stance, and all is quiet. All right. Now, back to siege engines. Is, is there one up here? I guess we should check to see if there's a siege engine. This looks like a place where they could be putting a siege engine. Yes, and it looks like it could use a few repairs. Typical. And of course, you need to remember to hit a few patrol points, which are going to be here and there about. Well, that looks like an entrance. 
right and here nothing here but I'm sure that there's a siege engine that I need to check up here yep but nothing to report on the patrol yet ah here's Ornahair I will not spurn the gift my blade is as sharp as it was both yesterday, last week, and a month past, but, all the same, I will not spurn the gift. I do not call for the servants of Sauron to attack, but neither do I enjoy the tedium of this endless calm. I will spend the sword. Pointless shall be neither the exercise nor the blade, my new friend. Mm-hmm. Right. There we go. Oh, and I need to stoke another fire. Hello. And this looks like a good place to look for our patrol. Hmm. That's one area. I just need to find a few more points. And hope it's not going to be an army of orcs at either of the areas that I look. At least if there are. I'm sure some of the soldiers would like to have something to break the monotony. We have one more siege engine to deal with. I didn't notice before, but these things have two sides. So you get two for the price of one. Now, one more place to look. Let's see, what do you do? I just have to talk to Ether after that and find one more place to look. Anywhere? Ah, here's a good place to look. Any works out there? Nah. Well then, I suppose more whetstones. And more fires. Ah, here's a fire here. Oh, and someone to deliver a whetstone to. A nice warm place. See, he's anticipating more warmth from the fire. But all is quiet. Thank you, friend. I will make use of the whetstone and the warming. All right, you're welcome. Ah. I found ear to her again at least. I should report that the siege equipment's working now. Listen well to my orders. That's happy tidings. It is to be hoped that we do not have need of them, but in the event that we do, we will have you to thank for the repair. What further task might be solved by sending you in their direction, my capable friend? Find something and do it. And where the Great Alliance is always in need of assistance, as you well know. Yep, I certainly know that. Listen well to my orders. Have you seen the banners of the Dark Lord that still stand upon the King's land? Even one would be too many. Sauron thinks to intimidate our soldiers? Bah! Seek out the banners and remove them at once. So destroy heraldry of Sauron in Arador. Well, I guess we'll do that while we're out and look upon the battlefield. We shall soon be there. This land will never possess the beauty of Belfalus, my home. Still, I have lived here for uh, seven years now. Oh, can it really be so? Oh, perhaps a boost in our spirits is needed. And even better, if we might strike fear into the hearts of the enemies at the same time. Take this heraldry of Hi High King Elendil and plant it throughout the king's land of Arondor. May it bring strength to our fellows and drain the courage of our foes. And I can do that while I'm tearing down the heraldry of Mordor, I presume. Ah, now, what else do I need to do? And we'll deliver the final one to Vemekil. Thank you for the whetstone and my father's warning, though I needed neither. Every day seems much like the one before, and the orcs have not dared tangle with our warriors for some time. Still, there may be some wisdom to it. Aye, 
I think it may be worthwhile to ensure that everyone who bears a weapon has what he needs to keep it in pristine shape. Yes, my friend, everyone, from the lowliest soldier to the very highest. Yes, indeed! Even my grandsire should not neglect his own weapon! If we need to sharpen our blades every morn, I say that even High King Elendil should benefit from his son's advice. Bring a whetstone and my father's warning to my grandsire, King Elendil. Yes, you will find him somewhere around, Adam Bell, I warrant, and spare not the lecture! I'm in trouble, aren't I? Now that I've finished stoking the fires, I also need to... ...converse with the soldiers and talk about who knows what. I hope it's not about the war. That'll really put them on. I long to see my wife again. I know she longs to see me too. Well, I can hope so. Now, what else have we got? All right, down dish way. More to converse with, more to learn, more to share, and more, I hope, that we'll be able to calm down. I have five daughters and cannot wait to see each of them once again. Uh, I'm sure they would have grown quite a bit in the last seven years. Ah, here's a Lindell. I hope he is in good humor. The tedium of the hours is a dangerous foe for an army at rest. I would not need three guesses to know which of my grandsons sent you to me with this warden. He has spent too long in idleness and forgotten the danger. The tedium of the hours is a dangerous foe for an, an army at rest. But a forgotten enemy long accepted is even more of a threat. I'll take this whetstone and thank you for it. But know this, my blade Narsil needs sharpening but rarely, and I am not lax with its keeping. Let my grandson take these words to heart. A soldier needs sharpening just as a weapon does, and if one is neglected, neither can carry out his work. He should treat the business of war more seriously, and leave the jesting for tavern keepers and stable boys. Find some soldiers with which to train as a reminder not to let their guard down. Afterwards, convey the words I spoke to my grandsons, as well as my displeasure. He has a, the blood of kings and should act as such. Alright, well. Okay, and. Might as well converse with a few more soldiers before I speak with the sons, right? Have you been to the Cape of Belfalis, my friend? It's a place of beauty that I shall visit after the war. Well, at least he can see to times when the war is over. I have finished both my patrol and my fireside chats. So let's talk about the long wait first. For the first time in many days, I heard the low rumble of pleasant talk. There were tales of battles gone, happy memories of children, wives, and husbands waiting at home, loved ones all. Oh, good memories were shared. Uh, did you hear the same? We have lasted this long, friend. One day, the siege will end. But it is not to be today. We will not let the passage of another restless day drive us into madness and give the lie to those already spent. We will wait. One day we will win, and this waiting will be worth it. And I... What did I do? Nothing to report. I am relieved, friend. Yes, I'm relieved to hear this. Oh, my mind does wonder when I have nothing to do. I'm glad that Annabelle is safe. Let us keep it that way. All right, you're welcome. And I think that's everything, right? 
that is it for today. And next time, we are going to train a few soldiers and head out to the field where we are going to be planting some banners, tearing down some banners, and maybe killing an orc or troll or warg or whatever. We return to the next episode of Complete Pine Leaf.